Hi folks, Maya Knife here and welcome back to our Terra Firma Craft TNG series. A couple things from last episode that uh, I didn't have a chance to get to. First of which is a demonstration of how these vessels work. So if I right click with one, then you notice it's kind of like the log piles. There are uh, area for four items to be stored. And so that's a way to uh, store more stuff into your inventory, right? Because I, I can now have these four items in here. And if I hover over it, then I can get a uh, list of what's in there, which is kind of handy. Um, not everything can go in there. Uh, it depends on the size of the items and the weight. But, uh, like, for instance, actually, I think this raw hides will fit, but the spears won't. Yeah, the spears won't go in. Uh, to put them in, what I'm doing is I'm doing a shift-left click, and that won't go in. The rocks will. The hides won't. Shovel won't, but knives should. Oh, knives don't go in anymore? Well, that's a change. They used to. Jugs won't go in. The food will. So... So that's one thing there. Um, oh, the other thing I wanted to show. Where are we here? Okay. Um, you can see how much higher my protein bar is now because of eating that meat. And I'm too full to eat anything right now, but I'll try to remember next time uh, uh, Next time that, I, that it goes down far enough and I eat to show you how that changes. Okay. For this episode, what we want to try and do is find some copper, or, well, we have found it before, but uh, pick up enough copper that we can make ourselves at least a pickaxe. That'll then allow us to uh, mine copper that's, that's actually embedded in rock in the ground. So to that end, we had a couple places that we saw copper. Okay. That's just copper. That's ex the exposed copper mine we ran into. And that's the first one. So this one's the closest. So I'm going to head over there and uh, and have a look at it. So it is mostly north and a little bit west. It's that guy there, okay. And I better make sure that I have a, uh, a weapon or two on my hotbar. Oh, the other thing I'm going to want... Oh, actually it won't matter so much for this. Uh, one of the things I use... <coughs> the... Uh, the thatch blocks for... is marking things. That should be enough for now. Oh well. We're, I'll use the knife up. So, for example, uh, remember how we saw that copper nugget just lying on the ground? Well, there's typically several of those, you know, above an underground deposit. Ah, I was hoping that was another berry bush. And so what I'll do is as I pick up... Oh, look, okay, hang on. I spent all that time <laughs> in the previous episode looking for clay and there's some right here. Oh my gosh. And copper. <laughs> Yeah, so there's Ethereum firm, and this is an example of what I mean about just spotting it from the from the coastline, because you can see the side of it here. Most of the time, you can't see the sides of blocks because the grass is covering them, right? But uh, if if there's at least two a uh, too high ridge exposed or too high quote cliff face, it's not that big a cliff, but then you can see the sides of them. But anyways, so this clay right here. I better mark that. 
Lord knows I will forget it otherwise. <laughs> well, that's good because we used up that uh, entire uh, clay source before, or we gathered it all anyway. So once that runs out, we'll have we'll know where to find more. Oh, all right. Can I take him out? I better get my other one. What? How did that miss? You didn't even see me. I ran up right beside you and you didn't see me. Man, this must be a blind saber tooth. Okay. Let's get that one there. I wonder how I missed him. There we go. Oh yeah, he's there. Let's just see if I can get far enough away from him. There we go. Now, I should be able to take you on out here. It's going to be saber tooth steak for dinner tonight. Tool using ape. Do not dare to attack me. I hope he was alone. To that end, I should make sure I have another axe in reserve. Since I've just about used up the one I've got. Once I have a sword, I will become much bolder about these critters. Okay, and somewhere up here, there is the, uh, there it is. Recover that one. Should be another one up here. Oh, it might have despawned by now. That's fine. All right. I don't know. Yeah, actually, I have seen the saber tooth tigers come in pairs at least. So I hope there's no mate around. Let's quickly check here. Mm, copper mine to the north. There it is. Okay, so we don't have the tools necessary to get that out of the ground. All we can do right now is pluck the stuff that's on the surface. So let's get that out of the way. So, oh, there's more of it, more of that there. Here we go. That's one. Now, if you look at each of these nuggets, if I hover over it, you'll see it has 10 units of copper. It takes 10, or it takes 100 units, rather, to make a tool. So we need 10 of these nuggets to make one tool. And we really only need one tool at the moment. We need a pick that allows us to mine the stuff that's in the rock.
Yeah, oh, uh, so I was going to explain what I'm using these thatch blocks for. It really isn't necessary here because I can see where the copper is. It isn't very deep underground, but typically what I'll do is when uh, each time I pick up a nugget, I'll mark its location with a thatch block. And then later on when I come back and I want to find the copper that's underground, then I'll just look at where all the thatch blocks were and kind of take the center where they were densest and dig down there. And that will improve greatly my odds of finding it. But like I say, in this case, I already know where it is, so I don't really need to be using the thatch blocks. So that was my last thatch block. I won't bother making any others right now. Doo -doo -doo. I mean, in theory, I should maybe, because it's possible that there's actually multiple deposits here, but I'm going to be just a little bit lazy right now. Because I'm keen, I'm eager to get the copper smelted. I'm at seven, I only need three more. Here's one. And another one. One more. Oh, a couple more. Okay, let's keep at it. Because if we can, if we can get 20, if, that'll let us make two tools. Which means we can make a uh, saw as well. And a saw will be really handy. Well, up to 14. Can I find six more? Five more? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Four more? Nothing that way. Let's try down this side of the uh, the back side of this hill. That nah, doesn't look any good here. Let's go back to where we were. See more bismuth night. That will eventually come in handy. Hmm, sounds like there's a horse around here. Actually, I think I saw him at some point. Hmm. What do I need? Oh, I need four more still. Eh, well, may not get them. That's fine. Uh, oh, yeah, there's the horse right there. Oh, here we go. We need two more now. Oh, come on, two. Surely, surely I can find two more. Ah, there's one more. Oof. Don't want to fall down there. Actually, it's probably not far enough for me to hurt me, so... But still, I'd rather not fall if I don't have to. Oh man, I just need one more. So actually, I'll, what I'll do, if I can't find it here, is I'll pass by that other copper site. Actually, there were some copper nuggets lying around where I found the clay, right? So I'll just pick those up. But, uh, take these thatch blocks so I can mark where those other copper nuggets are. Okay, cool. So we're... Well, that's not what I want. Where's that clay? There we go. Oh, <laughs> there's more copper right here. Let's 
get some thatch blocks out here. And that's it. That's all I really need for now. One, two, three, four, five. Now you see, now I'm getting greedy. Now I'm thinking, oh, I can make a third tool. If I can find ten more, but I think I'll just leave it. It'll be so much faster to, uh, once I have a pick, to just mine this stuff rather than try and pluck it off the surface. What a beautiful night it is. Yeah, I was going to say when I f spent two days searching for that first uh, that first clay deposit that uh, no doubt once I got to explore more carefully the area around here that I'd find one close by and sure enough See, now there's a nice big hole to fall into. So that's going to mean there's a cave system down there. Although I don't know how big. Okay. Head back over here. All right. Um, so these thatch blocks, we made them out of straw and we can pull them apart, um, pull them back apart into their, uh, original straw and I'm going to need some straw. So we'll do that. Um, I need the clay because I got to make some stuff. How am I doing on water? Oh, I better drink. I think I kept myself off in mid-sentence in the previous episode, is once your water gets down low enough, it used to be halfway, but I've been getting the feeling it's not that anymore, that it's lower than that, but once it gets down low enough, your uh, speed goes down, it halves, so another good reason to stay on top of it. Okay, we are going to want a pickaxe. Now, uh, one thing to remember when you're molding the clay or making, at least when you're making molds in the clay, is that they're the inverse of what you would do when you're napping. So when you're napping, you're trying to remove material to leave behind the tool head that you want. Um, here, when you're making molds, you're creating the indentation for the tool head that you want. So this will, the copper will pour into this indentation. So it's kind of the reverse. So this is the pattern for a pick head. You can't nap pick heads. It's just a limitation in TFC. But if I was going to nap it out of stone, nap a pick head out of stone, for example, then I would remove everything except these five squares. Uh, and a saw. The ever useful saw. Looks like this. Um, like that. <clears throat> and I need... What else am I going to need? It? Another vessel. Well, I'm going to be needing a chisel pretty soon. Well, I'll be wanting a chisel pretty soon. Okay. Let's put these things into the pit. And grab our empty vessel. And put our 20 copper into it. And as before, cover it up with a thatch. And now I need some logs. 
Uh, just keep hacking this stuff down. Gonna leave the big tree to the left there, which is a sequoia, I think. I think that's what they are, sequoia. Gonna leave that until I have a metal axe because they take a <laughs> they take a lot of hitting. Oh, that's something else I'll, do. I'll demonstrate that after I've got this going. Okay, fire starter. How am I going to do? Am I going to keep up my first time lucky streak? Yes, man. <laughs> Woohoo! Okay. I guess I can put that clay back in the vessel from whence it came. Okay, uh, another, for those of you who haven't played TFC at all before, another important difference is the way leaf blocks work. Let's see if I can find a leaf block that's close to the ground. There we go. Yeah, here's one. Okay, so in regular Minecraft, leaf blocks are basically solid. I mean, you can see through them, but they'll you can't move through them. But you can move through them in TFC, and again, they, um, they'll they slow you down, just like the thatch does. They slow you down more than thatch. But that also means you can't stand on them. <laughs> so don't try and, like, do the forest walking that you can do in regular Minecraft because you'll just fall through these things. And that also means like if you chop down a tree and the logs are falling through the foliage of some surrounding trees, it may take a couple of seconds before they reach the ground. So don't be surprised if you chop down a tree and it looks like you didn't get your logs. Wait a couple of seconds and they'll start falling out of the sky. Okay. Um, the other thing, I should check the time here. Doo, doo, doo. Okay, 5.30. So this has probably been running for maybe two hours. I think it takes at least ten hours. It's to be on safe side, let's say eight. So I'll have six left, 5.30, so 11.30. So what I want to do while it's running then is check some of those crops we found before to see if any of them have matured enough for us to eat. Tomato plant there. Pepper. Fruit tree. This barley's right here, so I know it's not ready. We just saw these yesterday. So let's go check out this tomato plant. It's almost due east. There it is. Okay, let's go check him out. See, lots of deer. Uh, there's another horse. A lot of animals around here. I guess it makes sense. It's the forest. Where's that tomato plant? Over there. Might as well swim it. That's a lovely day for a swim. Sun's just coming up. We've got mountains. Forests. I'll pretend the water's warm. Even though since uh, this is oceanic, well, it's a bay. I was going to say oceanic water is typically much colder. But it's a, it's a bay, so it's maybe a shallowish bay. Yeah, I can see the bottom. So Warm water for the swim. Oh, that's another thing I need to do. I keep forgetting that 
if you look at the mini map you can see some yellow dots where the squid are I've got uh, I've got mobs turned on there. Uh, let's have a look here. Options. Oh, min map settings. Why? Okay. Entity radar. Uh, sure, I can teams don't matter friendly mobs hostile mobs items other entities okay there we go we shouldn't be seeing all that stuff now ah, I was cheating I wasn't using it for anything but I could still see it out of the corner of my eye Ah, yeah, they're ripe now. Awesome. At least this one is. Okay, so to harvest a plant, you just hit it with your hand. And you'll see we got a tomato. And we got some tomato seeds. So let's just quickly hunt around. There's another one here that's not ripe yet. Two more here that are none of these are close to being ripe. Okay, uh, what's the time? Only nine, okay. So let's just quickly come over here and see if I can check that fruit tree. Uh, this is, I think these are, I don't remember, these are beets. I'll just mark them as a crop. I remember with this one, I find it really hard to tell when this one's ripe. Because I think all that just changes is the just the height of it. Alright, where's the fruit tree? Oh, it's on the other side of these mountains. Ah! That's a pain. Huh. More copper. Another copper mine. Certainly no shortage of copper. <laughs> Look at all the copper lying on the ground here. Ah, okay. Here's something else we can harvest. This should be oats. I get some oats and oat seed. Oh, there's another another one there. Wagon harvest. And I saw one other one here that uh, this one isn't yet harvestable, but I'll mark it. Okay, I better get back now. The problem is I can't, I'm not exactly sure how long it takes for the, uh, I don't want that, pit kiln to finish up. Home, it's that way. And as soon as it finishes up, like there'll be molten copper in that vessel, but it'll immediately start to cool. And if it cools too much, then it'll go solid and I'll just have to heat it up again. <laughs> so I need it liquid so I can pour it. Uh, any place I can get up here? Nope, let's make a place. Hi, dear. Hey, I may not have to hunt you anymore. We're starting to get other sources of food. Oh, yeah. Well, actually, it has finished up. 
Uh -oh. All right, let's hope I'm still in time. Yes, it's still liquid. I want to do the pickaxe, uh, yeah, the pickaxe head first. And then the saw blade. So I guess it is only about ten hour, eight or ten hours. So, all right. So I now have an empty vessel again. Great. So next thing I need to do, let's drink water. Now you notice, even though I well, I'll show just for demonstration purposes. Um, to drink from the jug, you just take it in your hand and you right click with it. And I avoid doing that if I can just have fresh water handy because there is a chance of it breaking. Every time you use the uh, jug, there's a chance it'll break. So, oh, actually, these uh, this barley over here is ready too. Is it the only barley around here? It's a little bit surprising. Okay. <clears throat> oh no, here's one here. Okay. So we'll have another barley in a bit. Now if I look in here, uh, these are solid now. Good. So to take the, uh, the tool head out of the mold, you just put it in your crafting and pluck it out of here. The mold breaks. It always breaks. You can't reuse them. Okay. And as usual with tools, we use a stick as a uh, shaft or handle. Okay, yes, we have made it into the Chocolithic. Um, actually, one of the first things I want to do, since I am fortunate enough now to have a saw, all right, so a saw can be used to cut up logs into planks. So each log will give us eight planks. So this should give me a total of 16 planks. Four planks will give us a block. A plank block. And so I need four of those. And just like in regular Minecraft, four of those give me a crafting table. Ta-da, have a crafting table. Okay, so what's next on our hit parade here? Need some more planks. Actually, are they called planks or boards? Well, it's called lumber. Okay, fine. Ah, oh, and I finally have a chest. Ho oh, ho. Just to put some stuff in. All right, let's. Do, I don't need to be carrying that crap around with me. Can't do anything with those yet, but soon. I need to cook that. Oh, that's the other thing I'll do. Uh, six of these lumber will give me a couple of doors. I only need one right now. There we go, it's a proper door. There. Now if a mob, mob comes along, it can't get me. Okay. Well, with that, folks, I'm going to call it an episode. We have successfully entered the Chocolithic with some copper tools. Um, and in the next episode, we'll actually go and mine some of that copper that was sitting on the ground there, and that'll allow us to build the full range of tools that we need to keep going. And I guess we'll, we should start some farming next episode as well. So I hope to see you back then. Bye for now.